Hello everyone and welcome to where I play my game two of chess.com's bot the jack-o-lantern uh, rated 1600. Uh, I'll, I'll try to get right to it because it is a bit of a longer game so I played this game at my lunch my second game before I played the uh, white pieces so I thought today at lunch I'd play the black pieces and I thought I'd do a, a quick game but uh, that reminds me 1600 is too strong for me anyway. To do anything quick uh, this was 64 moves and uh, honestly there were several times where I thought I was gonna get my ass handed back to me and uh, I thought I'd be posting a loss here several times um, I got fortunate jack-o-lantern made some mistakes uh, just as much as I did so let's uh, take a look at the game and I'll talk my way through it and maybe it can help myself and the audience if you're having trouble defeating Jack O'Lantern 1600 chess.com bot um, so it starts out like a perk defense and um, I saw a variation of Robert Fisher Bobby Fisher do um, this here and I I've uh, included that into my repertoire of uh, openings that I, I really like this movement uh, play around with this I, I think you might uh, like it too it's not very popular but uh, I like it. Okay, so just remember when you're starting these games, the big idea, all these openings, you know, what it really comes down to, just try to control the center and develop your pieces. Um, that's what I always try to keep in mind more than anything in the beginning. Okay, so um, protect, with this, I'm protecting um, this rook here. So, uh, because this knight protects that. So. Uh, because of this queen so just wanted to point that out okay let's keep this thing going so here <laughs> you know yeah, Jack O'Lantern is trying to trick and treat me here uh, because Queen comes here and it's over it's mate so something to watch out for this F file is uh, trouble it's a good thing to attack it's a good thing to defend so and I thought about pushing my knight out there um, Peter said I that would have been the better move um, yeah I um, I just had my sights for some reason on opening up um, this diagonal but um, okay so now I see this chance to take this uh, free pawn and I do and I own this anyway with my queen so and this is now defended from this attack so I went ahead and took the free pawn. Um, I got my pawn structure um, back. I don't know if this one's uh, only defended by the queen, but and my opponent is missing the two pawn. And these are usually the E and D pawn are the ones good ones to go after in the beginning. They're in the middle of the board. They're a little more strong than a wing pawn uh, in the beginning of the game. So remember that. Try, try to take out those center pawns if you can. And so that's what I was after here. Okay, let's get back to it because this is a 64 move game. Um, I'm trying to disrupt this pawn structure here. But first, I wanted to go ahead and attack this. Um, okay, so let's keep it going. Uh, so now, this is what I was after. Um, computer takes. Uh, it could have took with the queen. Um, honestly, I was kind of hoping, which is a very bad strategy in chess. That it would uh, use um, use the pawn here. Okay, let's keep this going. Um, okay, I was really hoping there's that word again for a um, a queen trade. I you know looking at it right now, I gotta tell you, um, it's okay. Um, computer says it's a good move, but it wasn't the best move, and I think that's because look. Dear Lord, I don't even have any of my pieces developed. You know, I've been messing around. Now I got my queen out there and I don't even have these pieces developed yet. So, but in this situation, it was okay. I think is what the computer's saying, but I think the computer's telling me you got to get these pieces developed. So always keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I was a little surprised at this knight uh, coming out here. It kind of pins it, but it's, it's a relative pin. It's not... I didn't think it was that terrible, but 
And um, yeah, I thought about getting the night out to here uh, because look, this is your key. Um, this is your key spot for your night usually. And I can't go there. The pond's sitting there, so I can't do this. So this is always a good backup, and it's fine. Uh, it works well. Um, but that's uh, not what I chose to do. Okay, so let's keep this game going. And here I was hoping to get this pawn out of the way. And what I was trying to do was take this with the queen, and takes my queen and I take their queen and I'm up a piece so that's what I had stuck in my head and that's what I was trying to do um, and it nearly worked but it doesn't um, there's some things going on here um, oops, sorry didn't mean to do that so fast um, so now I'm in check and I've got to deal with that and now I'm a little bit lucky I would have been down upon after all this exchange that the computer uh, jack-o'-lantern 1600 made a mistake here because I quickly saw that um, this knight could go back to this area and I forgot about the absolute pin so I do not have this knight available to move so let's go back and just kind of um, play some things out here Okay, so um, if the knight would have took, and I took here, and I took here. Now I'm down a pawn now. I can't, um, you know, I can't use this knight to recapture because of the pin. So I would have had to use um, queen. Um, okay, that would have been a mistake. Yeah, and then there's this kind of thing that's happened. So... There's a lot of bad things that would have happened uh, to me there. Let's get back to the game because this is uh, not what happened. Um, okay, let's get back to the game. So um, I'm just defending my check there. Okay, and so the knight should have totally took this pawn and been up a pawn. After all the exchange, I've played it a couple different ways. Um, the only thing that would have happened was I would have been down a pawn, which, um, hey, I, uh, or I would have lost this pawn. Right now I'm up a pawn, but I would have uh, uh, lost it. So um, I got a little bit lucky that the computer made a mistake. So finally I developed this knight here and get that going. Okay, and so now at this point I kind of want to cry because, yeah, now my queen's under attack. And so... Uh, I've got a lot of things happening here, and I just don't like my queen being under attack. So I do this, and I don't. This is why I said I want to cry. You say, well, wait a minute. There's a way out. Well, there is a way out. That's true. But my fear was I take this queen, and then the knight takes. And the only thing I've accomplished here, folks, is I've helped my opponent, Jack O' Lantern, develop a knight. And so I try to avoid that as much as possible. Don't do an exchange because, in my, in my opinion, sorry, in my opinion, so, well, this is an even trade. Well, not really because the knight gets developed. And so, in my opinion, that's not an even trade. You're helping out your opponent. But, to my surprise, Jack O'Lantern makes a mistake and takes with the pawn. Um, and I'll take all the help I can get. So, right now, Jack O'Lantern has, this one's up against the edge, but it's isolated, isolated and double stacked. So, one big thing in my favor at this point, even though I haven't played the greatest, is I've got a much better pawn structure, and I am up uh, a pawn. So, let's keep the game going. And so, this, this is what I wanted to talk about more than anything. I remember this. So, my idea was, the computer says this is a mistake, and it is, and I'll show you why, because... My thinking was, when the pawn takes here, um, I'm going to capture this rook. And that's what I had my sights on. And, of course, by now you're probably seeing, well, now you're going to be, <laughs> your rook's going to be gone. 
so, you know, these two pieces, let me clear the zeros off. So this piece and this piece is worth six points, three points each. This is only worth five points. So the computer's up, plus, plus this pawn now comes over here and it gets some pawn structure back. So uh, this is a neat idea where you have something behind like this, but um, I didn't, I failed to see this um, night there, um, or what it could do. So um, that was all in all a mistake on my part. And uh, at this point I'm getting a little frustrated. So I just kind of want to get back into it. And so, um, yeah, the computer should have took here because if it did, then I retake um, and then I lose this knight. But now you've given me a chance to either move the knight or def defend it with one of my rooks. Um, so something that I missed, uh, luckily Jack O'Lantern missed it as well. So, okay. So, and this was a huge mistake on my part because look what I just did. Um, uh, I was starting to get a little flustered. Uh, it's not an excuse. Um, I, uh, you know, I made some mistakes in this game. That's for sure. Uh, I thought I was going to lose it, but I ended up uh, recovering, and we'll go through that. Um, so, yeah, made a mistake here, and Jack O' Lantern capitalized on it again. This is, you know, I just keep the hammer down, keep going, see what happens, have fun with it, and that's what I try to do. Okay, so let's keep this game going. Um, I'm attacking this. I really want to take out this bishop, and my knight is defended. Um, and so, huge mistake there on Jack Lantern's part because now uh, rook is worth five point, knight is worth three, so that helps me out. And now I'm back in the game. Hot dog. Um, so, uh, let's see what uh, I'm trying to get get this rook up here and trying to get something going here. My rook has just been sitting here. Let's get him to work. Let's get something going here. So there's check. Okay. And now some back and forth. Um, I wanted to get this. The computer says that was a mistake. And yeah, I understand that. I, sh I should deal with this bond. I need to get this bond dealt with. But my here's what I was thinking. My rook was pretty much frozen here defending this pawn and I want it to be able to go do stuff you know I got this kind of thing in mind I got future ideas I was tired of seeing this rook just being it's one job was to defend a pawn and that's no good but a uh, computer knows better than I do it was a mistake I should have went after some other things and left, left this situation alone I think I was getting too antsy I needed to just move my rook around and just let this let this situation right here, just let it be. It's defended. Come deal with it later. Right now, I should probably be attacking this. So, um, okay. So, now, finally, I do take it, but the board has changed so much that there's better things for me out there to do. But I just had it stuck in my head, and, um, uh, you know, that's, that's the way it is. Um, uh, so I'm still up by one point. It looks like if I do the math in my math out here, it's okay. So now this is under being under attack by the knight. Um, so I thought, well, sometimes the best defense is a good offense. I'll defend this pawn by saying, "You want to take that pawn? Go ahead. I'm going to take your take your knight." And so now it's out of trouble, and I'm back to this. So I don't think it was the best tactic and the computer said, hey, that wasn't the best idea. And so uh, let's keep this going. Okay. Now normally I would not uh, take that night, um, but I have pretty high hopes. Of the double night at the end game it's trouble. Uh, I'd love to have two knights left over in the end game. My opponent does. Um, yeah, I'm down one piece. I didn't realize one of my pieces is a rook. That's good. 
So I'm trying to simplify the game, and I don't want this double knight situation. So that's why I go ahead and take that, and it looks like the computer agreed. So I was actually kind of impressed. I, I was, I really thought I was maybe making a mistake there, but I just kind of had something in my head, and apparently it wasn't as bad as all that. And so my idea here was I wanted to pin on this bishop, and then I wanted to promote get this pawn here is why I did that. Um, yeah, that was um, you know looking at it. Yep, I should have got this rook out here in the center of the board and started working some things. The knight gets out of the way. You know, here's uh, a check. I could maybe take this once the, you know, there's uh, better ideas than what I had there. Okay, so let's just keep this going. Um, again, we're uh, Jack O' Lantern and myself are not making the best moves here. Um, now I'm trying to. Uh, little bit of a panic trying to get this pawn promoted is probably not going to happen um, yep that was a mistake I'll just take that free pawn and I need to I need to get these pawns I mean I'm trapped back here but my opponent doesn't have a rook anymore thank God um, so let's keep this going okay now the Knights uh, defended here so yeah, this was uh, something that I should have been um, a little more careful with that night attacks this and my pawn for hope, but I can go back to check and uh, things like that. So at this point, I said, if you want to take this, go ahead and I will claim my queen. <laughs> so that was kind of my thinking there. Um yeah, it would have been more wise to attack this piece and even just take it and have the king take it. And now I can finally get my queen. So, you know, a lot of missed opportunities on my part in this game. I don't know how I hung in there, but I was uh, really afraid I was going to be posting a uh, loss here. Um, uh, if I would have took that the knight would have recaptured so um yeah i just barely hung in there i'm starting to just chip away at pawns at this point and um i'm about to make another little bit of a mistake uh right here so i realize that i can queen and at this point i'm uh, you know we're into getting close to move 60 and um I should have not been so carefree with my rook, I, I confess. But I saw that I was going to queen. And this poses a threat. Um, a, a queen against these two, I can handle that. But this pawn right here is a bit of a problem. Um, it is pinned at the moment, I get it. But um, there's still hope for Jack O' Lantern to queen here. My king's just sitting here. So I thought, I'm not taking any chances. Um, I, I sacrificed it. And I know that looks like a dumb move, and the computer said it was a dumb move. But look, I'm queening. And so there's nothing that can stop it now. This is just a desperation act now from Jack-O-Lantern. So there's the queen. And I'm just trying to simplify it. Whenever you play chess, I always think about it of like bushes, bushels of apples. Um, if... Uh, my opponent has a bushel of apples, and I have a bushel of apples, and we're in some kind of contest where we're throwing apples at each other for some reason. And I can get it down to where, you know, I have two apples, my opponent only has one apple. Well, guess who's going to win the apple throwing contest? The person with two apples. So that's why I always try to simplify my games um, towards the end. I just try to get ahead by a little bit somewhere in the mid game even just a piece or something, and I just start trading down. So if you're on the other end of that spectrum, if you're down a piece, don't don't trade if you can avoid it. Don't trade pieces if you're down, um, unless there's some kind of uh, positional tactic. Okay, so now I want to get, all right, you know, hey, that's it. Look, there's, I want to get my second queen. Um, I've cut off the king because I own all this, but... I am uh, 
the, my opponent has a dark squared bishop. So I want to stay on the light square. So I just try to tell myself, oh yeah, stay on the light square, stay on the light square. Don't go here, something could happen. Um, that's why I tell myself in this situation. So that might, maybe that can help, it helps me. Uh, okay, so yeah, this was a big mistake because when I bring my queen here, I thought the most I was going to do was just um, get rid of the bishop and then I was just going to have to work uh, the, uh, the king in, into a, a box or something. But here, this is going to be check. And so it's a fork. And so, yeah, that was definitely a mistake, but I will take anything I can get at this point. So here's what I'm talking about. If you see my other videos, um, well, I actually own this, but I'm creating a, a box where my opponent can only just move around can't get past this point so i'm just going to close this box make it smaller and smaller and so he went up so now i've thought well we'll really get this thing closed off um, so you don't have too many places to go and so now i queen and its mate so this was my um, second attempt um, i'll post a link in the description to my first attempt at jack o lantern 1600 uh, I won both of them. Um, 1600, in my opinion, is a tough ELO, one that you got to stay sharp on. And as you can see here, um, I got myself into a little bit of trouble. And I can't believe it, but I was able to dig my way out. And um, uh, a lot of, lot of inaccuracies, but good opportunities to learn on my part and the audience part, I hope. But um, hopefully this was helpful. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, great game, 64 moves, and uh, a lot of back and forth. Just remember, um, work those pieces together, and um, don't do some of the mistakes that I did. So 1600, very respectable, yellow, got to stay sharp with that. So thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.